had been elected as the president of Nigeria and that there was a dispute about it that was going to the courts. I shrugged that off thinking, well, that is par for that particular course. But when I heard him preaching about the sacredness of democracy and free and fair elections in relation to his neighbor Niger, when I heard him as a saint, like Saint Francis of Assisi, talking about the absolute unacceptability of people coming to power in an African country, other than, by implication, like him, through a pristine election system, I began to look more closely at him. That's when I discovered he was the bad man. Yes, he literally carried a bag of hundreds of thousands of dollars of drug money in Chicago. He should have gone to prison, but instead he just gave the feds the money. Now, okay, that's a common or garden story in Chicago, which in the time of Al Capone and in the time of Joe Biden is a criminal hellhole presided over by Joe Biden's party for the best part of a hundred years. It kind of happens. But when I began to think, how does a man who's a bag man for organized crime in Chicago end up in the president's house in Abuja? How does that happen? Well, I then discovered that probably it didn't happen at all. That not only was he a bag man for the mafia, he also stole the election in Nigeria. Now, even then, it was not my intention to get locked into a confrontation with him. I have many, many uh, fish to fry. I